Here we are, Derby Day. It's a great occasion, unlike anything else in the world. The most wonderful race of the year! Derby Day. And what's it mean? It means a million people on Epsom Down. Ladies and gentlemen, the Derby 1960 is with us. Four of them are on the Derby! Four blue pleats. On the Derby, seven of them are on the Derby. Good for Holla, And to complete the traditional Derby scene, Her Majesty the Queen is here. I've got a home! All eyes now on the start. They're making for the gate. Gully, 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 gully. And they are all in, and they are now under starter's order, under starter's orders. Yeah, Mr. Burning Winner! And they're off as they burst up the storm, and they race away. Blue Peter absolutely walks away from the field. But they come up the line, it's Bill Reed, the winner. Galileo, a brilliant winner of the derby. Here comes Lamtara from the gods. It's Willie Carson who wins the derby on Troy. You see the start, what the derby! Never say dies victory, all right. And what a superb ride by young Pickett. The Jitski coming away. Lester Pickett coming home for his ninth derby winner. Good old Lester Pickett. Off the rise, we'll give Frankie Dettori his first derby. Frankie Dettori punches the air. It's hard, man, in the colours of the Arkansas. Yes, it's over. Fortunes have been won and lost. For it isn't just the big race they came for. It's the day out. Welcome to the Start of Order 6 Online League, Week 5, Day 1. It's Derby Day. We're at Epsom, where we've got some cracking races for you today. Three group, group 1s, a Group 3, and a listed race as well. Plus, before that, we've got racing from Wolverhampton, all-weather qualifying races. And then to end the day off, we will have a couple of group races at Haydock as well. So let's take a look at them in a little bit more depth then. What we've got at Epsom, we start off with the first of the big races. There's a Diamond Stakes over a mile and a half a furlong, and there's one or two interesting looking contenders in there. Is it because I'm black for Joshua sort of looks like he should have a chance. Trick play one million for Molly at Surfer. Looks a big player. Also Watford Town for Jim Murray. Looking down the bottom of the card, Troublicious for Sirius Chill and Wu Chang Grasso for Vinny Gerard could be surprise contenders the big group ones will come one after the other one two three bang 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 and it'll be investec coronation cup time first where we have got a cracking looking field steve ram brings back twisted logic wing rune for thunderspark blown out of the water for paul rhodes all got great chances of winning throw into the mix there bad apple for django ghost bay for john morgan interestingly named flopalopagus for hans jones as well and we should have an absolutely wonderful race to get things kicked off for those group ones after that it's the turn of the Phillies in the Investec Oaks. And that, once again, looks like it's going to be a crack of the unbeaten Treaty of Versailles for Paul Rhodes. will probably be on the top of most people's lists for that one. But he's also got editorial as well. So he's got two chances of winning this with the two top-rated horses in the race. Then Lights and, Lights and Sirens for Django also looks good. The Maiden's Hot Logic and Teacher's Pet also don't look out of it. And throw into the mix there, Jungle Queen and Young Eye Upzana. And you should have a pretty good looking race for the Oaks and then of course we go on to the big one the Investec Derby the greatest horse race in the world don't take any notice of what anybody else tells you about any other races this is the race the one that everybody wants to win and we have got a wide open event this year maybe not so flashy on the form figures as normal all the big all the big trainers are represented saw them doubly and it is going to be a fascinating race to see what happens and who comes out on top Darren Thompson will probably be surprised that he's got the top rated horse in North zone who's had a first and a second green river is the second highest rated who won last time out and picasso for paul Rhodes might well be a maiden but he's pretty well thought of and highly rated at 112 but into the mix there john morgan slokes the cat joshua sutherland's got a good one in there with masterclass as well plus thunderspark with his cadonia and rustica who are both unexposed molly at surf has got a few good runners as well today he's got battering alert in this one paul Rhodes has also got a second runner called the coliseum that one shouldn't be too far away either one or two of the ones down the bottom Derek Hinton, Mayor's Ad Mystery, Alex Cherry might not have thought they'd have a chance of getting a decent run in the derby, but this year it's wide open and any of them could win it. Even Darren Howes, who reckons his Indian chief is out of his depth, hasn't got two shoddy form figures compared to some of the rest, and it wouldn't be too much of a surprise to see that one running a big race. So that's what we've got then today at Epsom. Then after that will be 
whizzing across to Haydock for a couple of group races there. The Betfred Temple Stakes is a five furlong sprint. And again, some really good looking horses in this. Plenty of good form figures as well. Going right the way down the line. Exocet Missile has just missed the target the last three times, three seconds. Top rated though and must have a great chance of winning today. South Coast for Jim Murray's also got good form figures. And so too's Diabolica, a last time out winner. Cove Blue for John Morgan also won last time out as well, as did No Excuses and Wishful Secrets. So you've got some really good horses in this race, and that should be blinking your missy lickety split. And then the day will end with the time form jury stakes, and that's over seven furlongs. It's a group three event, and again, we've got plenty of winners in that as well. With Bozu Utisensium for Vinnie Gerard, a winner last time out. Break the rules for Joshua Sutherland, just about the top rated. Django's got out back. The unexposed maiden million dollar man for Molly at Surfer. Derek Hinton's got a good one in there with Hollywood Thunderstruck. Paul Rhodes' That Life has been disappointing so far, but he'll be hoping that one will bounce back this week. Going down towards the bottom, Yvonne Elliman was a winner the first time out. And Pan Helic for Stu Gray, the bottom one, the lowest rated in the race, has only had the one run come in second, so that could still be anything. That's your day one then. Get your top hat on, it's Derby Day, and over to Doug at Wolverhampton.